In this class, we'll try to find it out the input impedance in case of a short circuit. Let's try to understand what is a short circuit scenario. Let me draw that. So rather than having a load impedance, previously we used to have a ZL, what I'm saying that this would be nothing but your short, right? And it will have a characteristic impedance as Z0, right? So if rather than having a load impedance, you are having that part itself is short circuited, right? And I have to find the character or I have to find the input impedance of this circuit. Now what I know from the basic input, input impedance equation, Z in is equal to Z0, ZL plus J Z0 tan beta L, right? Divided by Z0 plus J ZL tan beta L. This is the input impedance equation in case of your lossless medium, right? This is your input impedance equation in case of lossless medium. Now, if the circuit is short, what will be my load impedance ZL? So my load impedance ZL will be nothing but, so my ZL will be nothing but zero, right? For a short circuit, what is the impedance? It is zero, right? So it means my ZL is zero. Now if my ZL is zero, let's see what will happen here. Let's substitute that. So Z in will become Z naught. So my ZL is zero. It means this and this quantity will go to zero. So it's nothing but zero plus J Z naught tan beta L divided by Z naught plus zero, right? Which comes out to be this quantity is zero, right? If I simplify this further, what will happen? Z naught, Z naught will get canceled, right? So this Z naught, this Z naught will get canceled. So what I'm left is, Z in is equal to J Z naught tan beta L, right? So this is what is your input impedance in case of your a short circuit. So we have concluded what would be the input impedance when your load is short circuited, right? That comes out to be J Z naught tan beta L, right? We'll see how we'll use this in a numerical in the future videos.